Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Tableau Tip Top. In the section today, um, I like to print the advanced level of this uh, dendrogram chart. But if you remember the previous one, uh, I did the single level dendrogram chart, um, where um, I have all the subcategory with the value and with the rank uh, by each of the branch of the chart here. Yeah. And the fundamental, the base, the critical, the fundamental thing uh, to build this one, we see the sigmoid uh, function in order to um, build the, uh, the curve ch uh, chart here, right? And I think the second thing we see the data densification where uh, you can see is it of the light and the curve here. It actually uh, was built by the uh, combination of multiple of the uh, data dot here. Okay, and here is is uh, which at single level we see the subcategories, but in the uh, advanced level today so you can see it, the data is is I use uh, uh, to uh, to showcase is not only the subcategories, but also the category as well, and then the uh, category and subcategory the, the link uh, to each respective. Uh, 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 respective level, uh, respective uh, data component. Uh, meaning in here you can uh, have the um, deeper level of the data analysis or you can have the uh, granularity uh, level of the data. Right? Okay, so let's uh, see how to build this one. Right? Okay. I think the first thing to build is, if you still, rem if you sh if you still remember, is the path. Bin. So let's bring the path bin in here and to ensure that the part uh, show all the missing values. So we see in the path bin we will divide the, uh, the all the data into 100 points. And then uh, I convert it to the line and put the path bin into the path. And quick list I print the X. And uh, Y into the view and compute using the path bind. And I added the table calculations. Where is it here? I think I need to use the subcategory last time. Right? So here quickly you have this uh, dendrogram chart. Right? So now I want to print because I want to show the category and subcategory in. So in here I need to use these category, both category and subcategories. So in order to print this one into the view, uh, we need to, to go back to the data source and then to see how we prepare for that one. So actually in here, let me remove this one. Alright. So the the order here we see uh, already uh, join with the path. Okay. So I will not touch into them in order to create the the one column with the uh, data of the category and subcategory. So I use another tactic which is bring the others into the view and I use the relationship. Right? So we see the other IDs and here is the sorry, not other day, it should be other IDs. Here, here. So, in case of the order, have multiple um, product inside. So, I want to join one more key in order to ensure that the data will be joined correctly. So, I do the product name. I do product name. 
Pourquoi So okay, so here is uh, we have the other uh, data set or the, or the in relationship with itself, right? With the and I want to pivot this one right? in order to have the, all the category and subcategory into the one column. So here is it, uh, I change the name in category and subcategory. Right? I created the level which is to say if the menu here is category and put it level level one and then the subcategory we have the level two so here we go so at least here now we have the level one and level two here right? we can we can showcase but when we show the level two here and how tableau connect them to the uh, respective uh, level one we see the pattern level okay? so I create the calculated view it could not the parent I say it's if the column which it created equal to subcategory and then the parent equal to category so that will automatically find their parents right, right. and so now let's bring uh, subcategories and category into into the view replace replace to this one so we see the y-axis error Here we go. So now, actually we have actually we have two dendrogram charts here, but because that is exactly in the same position, so they overlap uh, each other. Right? So what we need to do is to print the one with the subcategory. Move to the right hand side. Move the right hand side. Here. So you can see in the chart is the category chart uh, and a crowd. So we need to start the second one at Trump. Right? So uh, we, what we need to do is to change the x axis here. Right? Change the x coordinates. Right? So let's go to the. I created this x abstracted. So I say I use the same x coordinate, and then with the um, with the level level um, level we see level one and level two of the subcategory we start a crop I print this one to replace and then see right so now we have we have two chart right but it they they could not uh, find a way to link between the um, subcategory chart to the category so I think it let bring the parent level into here we go it's automatically it's it, uh, it connect to the um, so here we have the furniture but when we click in here it's still showing the subcategory of this of, of, of this uh, of these uh, of the office supplies I think so what we need to do is to add start load to show whenever the level one and level two we see level two have level one equal to parent right so we do this one we do the filter which says if level one if level equal to one and or level equal to two we subcategory and then the we 
level one equal to parent. So that means this one equal to parent of this one. Subcategory so have a parent, and then we have a level one. Uh, the parent equal to level one. So we see, we see only sh only uh, show uh, that case, right? So level one is actually 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 just the uh, parameter with a string, and then in there we have the furniture office supplies. We see the category, right? So we say the filter will select the one which we have the level one or level two that its parent equal to level one. The primitive is so true. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we need to do the one of the action. Let's say the action with the chain parameter. The parameter we use is the level one. Technology. Office supplies, yes. Furniture, yes. So now when we click into the when we click into the uh, level one here, that will show the respective level two. We see the subcategory. So you see again the action, right? So we say with the level one, when we click, the field will be the category and subcategory. Okay. Right. One more thing is we need to we need now we when we click into technology, so that show correct, but we want this point connect to this point. Right. So we need to adjust this value of the y coordinate here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I create the. Um, uh, I need to find out what in this point. Right? So I do the another parameter. So I call that the parameters and float number and put it here in order to get the assigned uh, assign data, right? So I create the action, action with the change the parameter as well. <coughs> so I will do level 2 and in here I will get the number of the of the column Y. Okay. Still, I need to change the data here as well. So what I did, the I have the I use exactly the same uh, y axis and I plus. If the if the level the level two and then I plot the one I just created here. Alright, so I print this one to replace the y axis and then I do the same like I did before. So now, now I have, I have it, right? So 
So it's uh, now it's stay with furniture, but it's it's stay with the it it it, it not go to here. So let me see what. Let me see the action. The action will be level one will be okay. The action here, yeah, is strong here. So um, I will get this data from the white column to put. Now we have it, right? So the action will take the data from the white column and put into the level two here, right? Okay. Okay. So now we change the color a little bit, like, like here. So what I don't want is the I want the category the level one it to stay the same and then the uh, level two move right so let's see here the minus five and here two point five so let's fix this one so minus six three. Okay, okay, we see it. We see, we see, we see what now. So I put it in full uh, screen, right? and then I do the format in order to remove. Okay, so now we have two levels. So we want to put a number into here as well, right? So we put the sales. Go to label. It gets to ensure that the data on, uh, on, on, on the on appears in the in the screen. So now we go to here, we go to here. So all good now. If you want to show the sales into the side. can see that which one uh, it, it uh, the size of the bar is associated to the um, to the sale right so do that so what I'm gonna do with this one um, so this is the uh, the multi level and the grand chart right okay so you found that um, it's, it's you found that it, it it um, a, um, a complex level, you know, of how to uh, connect the subcategory to the category, right? Uh, but it it workable and it achievable. So uh, I hope you you find that uh, help you find that useful, right? Uh, and uh, anything when you build your own um, charts, uh, if you have any issues or any challenges, please feel free to wish me out. I'm happy to enter. Um, thank you very much and have a good day.